Deepcool's Castle 360 EX all-in-one liquid cooler has already seen plenty of time on the market, but now we have an updated revision that includes addressable RGB lighting, as well as the upgrade into a clean, pure white aesthetic. With this latest revision, Deepcool retains the infinity mirror display on the pump, we get triple CF120 series PWM fans, and the price tag is competitive at just under £115 in the UK. If you're someone who really loves white inside this system build and is geeking out with the prospect of a really good looking white all-in-one liquid cooler with addressable RGB LED lighting, then stay tuned for this review because we're going to be taking a closer look. The mounting hardware and accessories provided are the usual stuff and of course we get mounting support for modern Intel and AMD platforms including LGA 1700 and Threadripper. You also get a bunch of cables for handling the fan and pump block RGB LED lighting situation and Deepcool includes a breakout cable that gives you manual LED control but I'm not really too sure on the point of this quite frankly because why would you buy an addressable RGB cooler if your motherboard doesn't support the ARGB header? So this seems like something that's just gonna stay firmly inside the box, in my opinion. Taking a closer look at the CPU cooler itself, Deepcool is using a conventional 27 millimeter thick aluminum radiator. The fins fill out roughly the entire volume of the radiator housing, so that's good to see. And that housing and its fins are colored in a sleek, clean white appearance to ensure consistency. And there's also a fill or drain port near the tubes, but this is for warranty purposes and not user maintenance. Perhaps more important is the inclusion of Deepcool's anti-leak technology on the radiator itself. This is via the EPDM pressure relief bag that contracts to create a void when pressure rises to relieve the pressure inside the radiator. So in theory, this helps to reduce the risk of leakage and that is a clear positive. The 465 millimeter long braided tubes have a good degree of flexibility to them. They also maintain the clean white appearance of the rest of the cooler, though the white material will certainly get dirty if it's touched by fingers regularly. Alongside the flexibility of the tubes themselves, there's also a good degree of adjustment allowed for the entry points into the block. Deepcool uses an in-house pump and cold plate design to help to avoid any patent problems with the likes of Acetec, for example. The copper cold plate is a sizable area, thus making it sufficient for a large heat spreader coverage on Ryzen or Intel high-end desktop. Physically, the pump block unit is absolutely massive. It measures in at 86 by 75 by 71 millimeters, and this is clearly not an ITX friendly pump block design. The overall shape is cylindrical and it maintains that clean white appearance that we see throughout the cooler. Deepcool deploys the eye-catching infinity mirror display that features the brand name and the top cover can be removed so that the nameplate can be rotated in 90 degree intervals to allow for correct alignment of the orientation irrespective of one's installation preference. There's also eye-catching ARGB LED lighting that shines through the infinity mirror display as well as in a ring around the pump block unit. The dual chamber pump itself is powered by a three pin 12 volt DC connection and that three phase motor spins the pump at 2550 RPM. The trio of Deepcool's CF120 ARGB PWM fans feature an all white housing alongside their translucent blades. This maintains the white theme of the entire all-in-one liquid cooler and allows the 12 LEDs on each fan to shine brightly through those blades. The hydro bearing 120mm fans are rated at 500 to 1800 RPM via the 4-pin PWM connector. ARGB lighting is handled by a proprietary connector that inserts into the Deepcool breakout box for usage with RGB systems on motherboards. And speaking of RGB systems on motherboards, this is what Deepcool sticks to for when using the software control to handle the lighting. And to be honest, the lack of third-party software from Deepcool is a strong positive in my opinion. A pair of connectors emanate from the pump block unit and each of the 120mm fans. These are for power or speed control and for RGB lighting. I'm really not fond of Deepcool's preference for using a proprietary RGB connection system. So you have the breakout cable that connects to your 5 volt ARGB connection on a motherboard like this Gigabyte one, and then that goes into a box which basically then can be used to connect the pump block unit or the fans for their RGB connections. 
just seems a bit needless and a bit overly complicated in my opinion, particularly if that cable were to break, for example. I personally just prefer default go-to ARGB or RGB connectors as they're pretty much ubiquitous on the market at this point. In terms of the warranty, this is an area where Deepcool is really weak. Even at the roughly £115 price point currently in the UK, three years warranty for a 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler is not strong at all. We would typically expect to see five years or better even at this price point from the likes of Fractal for example. So. Yeah, that's one thing to bear in mind, and it's actually quite disappointing given that Deep Cool is using the anti-leak technology which should help to prevent any maintenance issues, but is then not putting their money where their mouth is and backing that up with a better warranty. I don't know, form your own opinion on that one I guess. Installation is a multi-step process, but it is really not difficult at all. The first step is to use the default AMD backplate for our test system, and then screw in the threaded standoffs. Once you've then attached the specific AMD bracket to the cold plate area of the cooler itself, you can place this on top of your AMD CPU and then you can use thumb screws to hold the pump block unit in place. Once that's done, it's basically a case of connecting up the fans to the radiator, screwing the radiator into position and then connecting up all the cables. And yes, there are plenty of cables to connect up, especially with that breakout system for the RGB lighting but it's not a difficult task and they're not hard to hide around the backside of your build either. And then I guess the final critical point for the entire installation is moving that deep cool logo on the infinity mirror display to the orientation that suits your specific installation. For testing the deep cool Castle 360 EX ARGB white cooler, we're going to our usual AM4 test platform. This is run a Ryzen 9 5950X processor run at precision boost overdrive and also overclocked to 4.45 gigahertz with roughly 1.3 volts delivered through the actual motherboard which is a little over 210 watts of package power. The motherboard is a gigabyte B550 Aorus Master with its excellent VRM. We use a Seasonic TX1000 1 kilowatt power supply for clean juice. We've got a gigabyte RCX 2060 super graphics card in zero RPM mode and the Fractal Design Mesh Phi 2 chassis is used with three 140mm fans. For testing, we use a 30 minute loop run of Cinebench R23 NT and we look for the steady state CPU temperature towards the end of this 30 minute loop. Ambient is maintained around 23 to 25 degrees Celsius and where the conditions deviate out of this window, we will add in additional tests just for validation of that data. As always, if you want more details on our test hardware, our procedures and some of the comparison coolers, then make sure you check out our previous video reviews of CPU coolers and head on over to the Kikuru written webpage where you can see more details. Plus that really helps us out. Let's get into the test results. Let's start off with noise performance at 100% fan speed. This is important for getting an indication of where our performance expectations should lie based on noise output. Registering at the 52 dBA using our recording method, the Deepcool Castle 360EX ARGB is one of the loudest coolers that we've tested. That's with its triple CF120 fans at full 1800 RPM speed and the pump run at 2550 RPM. Given that higher speed fan combinations on competing coolers are often lower noise in our chart, the acoustic efficiency of Deepcool's chosen fans looks to be very questionable. But I guess there is the saving grace of a reasonably strong 500 to 1800 RPM PWM control curve. Performance wise though, we see reasonable results from this cost effective 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler. A delta temperature recording of 58 degrees Celsius puts the Deepcool unit's performance in line with that of similarly priced triple fan competitors from Fractal. And the Castle 360EX ARGB White's performance is only a touch behind that of some higher cost Acetec units. So at least we're seeing early signs of the heavy noise output delivering competent cooling performance. In order to get the unit run at 40 dBA, we had to restrict the CF120 fans down to 45% duty cycle, which translated into 1060 RPM running speed. The pump was maintained at 2550 RPM. This is a large proportion of the PWM duty cycle to restrict, but it highlights the relative noise inefficiency of Deepcool's chosen fans on this budget cooler. Even when locked to 40 dBA noise output, the Castle 360 EX ARGB maintains its solid level of cooling performance. A 63 degrees Celsius delta puts Deepcool's 360mm unit in line with the performance of a couple of Acetec based alternatives, but the better noise efficiency of the fans on Fractal's Lumen S36 RGB allow that competing cooler to open up a slight lead over Deepcool. 
With respect to the precision boost or drive results, it's critical to note the small differences in the display delta temperature are not as important for our PBO testing because the clock speed and cooling power achieved are most important. With the CPU running in PBO mode, we once again see Deepcool's 100% fan speed unit matching the performance of the Fractal Lumen S36 RGB competitor. This is a good thing though, as that Fractal cooler proved very well balanced in our review and sells for around the same price as the Castle 360 EX ARGB White. So Deepcool has clearly found a good market position with the performance and price of the cooler that we're testing in this review. 225 watts of package power is a solid result for a reasonably priced 360mm all-in-one. Only the more expensive triple fan big boys can marginally outperform Deepcool's 100% fan speed performance here. Interestingly, the Castle 360 EX ARGB White does very well when it comes to VRM cooling performance at full fan speed. This is likely an outcome of the specific fan airflow profile with respect to our motherboard's VRM design, but it is a clear positive for the deep cool units result in our test system nevertheless. The 40 dBA noise lock performance is very weak on the VRM temperature front though. This is because deep cool has to give up so much speed for the relatively noise inefficient fans to hit 40 dBA. If we summarize the Castle 360 EX ARGB white CPU cooler, basically Deepcool has taken one of its tried and tested all-in-one liquid cooling units and upgraded it to please white PC build aficionados, I guess. The quality of the white color scheme throughout is positive and it is consistent. And the ARGB lighting works well, particularly with the motherboard vendor control rather than relying upon third-party software. Performance is perfectly fine and is about where we would expect for a reasonably priced 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler. The noise levels were certainly high at full fan speed, and I guess the 2550 RPM pump being DC controlled does limit noise output manageability. But when locked to 40 dBA output, the CF120 fans and accompanying pump unit were capable of maintaining solid levels of cooling proficiency. While I like the ARGB lighting implementation, I am not a fan of proprietary connectors. Deepcool seems to needlessly add this proprietary ARGB splitter into the mix and it just seems unnecessary when 5V ARGB and 12V RGB connections on modern motherboards are ubiquitous. With that said, I guess I will cut Deepcool some slack on the cable front just because I'm so impressed by the infinity mirror display on the front side. That looks absolutely awesome, particularly with the RGB lighting and the RGB ring and the adjustable logo. That is a great, great touch. And while we're in the area of the pump, make sure you have plenty of room around the CPU socket in your build because this unit is very large. I don't think I'd fancy using this for mini ITX builds, put it that way. Overall, the Deepcool Castle 360 EX ARGB White is a competent CPU cooler with well-deployed white aesthetics, a good addressable RGB lighting setup, and solid cooling performance. The value for money is perfectly reasonable, around about £113 in the UK currently. So if you're not bothered by the poor three-year warranty and the reasonably high noise output at full fan speed, then this is a good choice for your white-themed build. I've been Luke Hill for Kit Group. Thank you for watching this video review of the Deepcool Castle 360 EX ARGB White CPU Cooler. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe, support the YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Discord and Patreon and Twitter and all that type of stuff, buy a cool t-shirt, check out the main review on the written Kikuru website, that really helps us out, and I will see you in the next video.